Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading. Uh, this is part two for the week of January or January 31st. Uh, this is part one right here. Uh, we already covered part one and there's a link to part one uh, in the pinned comment down below. So if you haven't watched part one yet, make sure to do so. But we're just going to clarify through here and see what's going on for you. Uh, with that Jaguar spirit, you have this horse it says freedom, <laughs> so I, I definitely feel there is freedom coming in for you. It feels a little magical to me. Remember, in your first reading, we were kind of talking, it felt like I kept seeing a rabbit coming out of a hat, kind of like a magician, right? And um, so you could say that that's an illusion, right? That the magicians create, but I really don't think it is an illusion. I think it just, I think that what you're accomplishing just looks like magic to you or just feels magical. And I kind of get that here. There's like a horse that looks like it's bursting through a mirror on this card. And so I feel like something just feels a little bit magical. Uh, is it really magic? I don't know. Uh, I would say yes. Why not believe in magic? It's more fun, right? With the Queen of Pentacles, there is an Ace. You have the Ace of Swords. There is an Ace of Swords. Uh, I definitely feel that if that if you have that uh, Capricorn person, like we were talking about in your first reading, uh, if you have that Capricorn person in your life who's very resourceful, could be any gender, by the way, just because it's a queen doesn't mean it's a queen. But what I would say here is I feel like if you have a person who does things that look like magic to you, like for me, you know, I always talk about algebra. I failed all 18 times that I took it, however many times it was, too many times, right? And have I ever used algebra in my life? Nope. And what I would say here is like, if I see someone doing algebra, my eyes glaze over, I start crying, and um, I'm like, wow, that looks like magic. I can't believe they're able to do that. And what I would say here is if you have a person like that in your life, uh, I feel like that person just has really good advice and I would move towards that person. For others, I do just feel like there's a balancing in your resource. Again, if you don't have that Capricorn person in your life, the Ace of Swords is a victory, but it's in perfect balance. These It has these six golden yods on either side of the sword here. And those golden yods are in perfect balance on this card. So I feel for a lot of you, that basically this is saying that there is, you know, some balance coming in in your finances or in some other type of resource that you need. For a lot of you, I feel like this is financial balance. For some of you, I feel like it's more just f more uh, forward progress with the Eight of Pentacles right here as well. Sometimes that kind of just intuitively feels financial to me, but also what the Eight of Pentacles really represents, you know, putting a lot of energy and effort into something and having worked on something for a long time. So it's like sometimes when the Ace of Swords comes up before it, it says you're finally seeing progress because, you know, it's like if you've ever worked on a project and you're like waiting and waiting and waiting for progress, this to me just says progress. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Six of Pentacles. Yes, more clues for teamwork. He's giving to one person, but he's not giving to this person over here. Can represent e balance as well, just like I said with that Ace of Swords, but it represents equal give and take. Really, for you, I feel like this is talking about planting seeds. I really feel that some of you are kind of, um, you know, taking something to the next level here, like I said in your first reading. And, um, you know, I've had this theory since the beginning of my channel. I mean, if you go back, I think it was the, uh, the very first Taurus video I do, did, if you go back to that on my channel, I was talking, I'm not sure if it's that video. I'll try to find it, <laughs> but it's somewhere around there. And I was talking about a circle, how for like years, I've been seeing a circle in my head in like little circles that are kind of around it. And I was seeing this as like how people will be working in the future. And it's funny that I was talking about that back then. And like now that's basically how people work. It's like people might have a YouTube channel and then they, but then they might have like other little things that kind of relate to it that also they work on. I see that for a lot of you, that's why I'm saying this. It's like, maybe you're working in social media or maybe you have a job, but there could be other opportunities for you to make money. Reminds, I used to work in an aquarium and uh, I, I knew this guy who worked there and uh, you know he, he had this idea of starting a YouTube channel. So he started, he, you know, he wanted to start a YouTube channel for on the aquarium. Uh, he never did it, um, but <laughs> uh, if he did, it's like he could have been making extra money. My boss actually said he could do it too. Um, so, you know, my boss was all on board and said, go for it. You can own it. You can make money off of it and everything. So it's like, there are, there are opportunities I feel for people who, even if you have a job, you can still be like taking advantage of it and making more with what you're already doing. I see that here. And um, that's why I'm saying it. Like I see you here, Libra, like you already do something and you could be expanding it. You could be, you know, making more money off of it. Or again, it doesn't even have to be money. It could just be gathering resources like help from other people with the nine of swords you have the ten of wands here um remember what i said i think i said with that seven of wands 
uh, I get a very matter of fact energy from the readings lately, especially for you air signs, by the way. It's like I get this very, you know, cutting cutting type of energy here. Well, that was weird. Uh, I think my, my camera just like overexposed. But um, anyway, I get this very cutting energy. And I feel that for you here where I feel like things are kind of um, like moving very quickly and you are cutting things out of your life that no longer serve you. Probably a good thing. Uh, with that conjunction card, you have Uranus. Uh, this card says change on it. So clearly uh, Uranus just started moving direct uh, recently and uh, it's moving forward. So there clearly are going to be some changes. We've had some weird stuff going on with Uranus as well. It's actually entering into a part of the sky that um, I'm not very crazy about. <laughs> uh, and uh, it's actually kind of moving into a part of the sky where we have uh, the fixed star algal uh, kind of like right on top. It's right in that zone there. Mm, I'm not too crazy about it because to me, algal is like um, you know a very frozen energy as far as a fixed star is concerned. You know, I love astrology, but how much do fixed stars really control our life? I don't know. Um, I really don't know. I don't. I don't know how to answer that question because I just have. I don't think we've experienced enough fixed star energy uh, personally, um, or like for the with these major transits, like with Uranus. And so what I'd say here is I said it to a couple other signs. I do feel like we could be uh, entering into a time, um, especially with Uranus in Taurus, where which wants freedom, and you have that freedom card as your first card. We could be entering into a time where it's like you have a very strong craving to be set free in any area of your life, love. Maybe you literally want to move or travel. Uh, maybe you want to get out into the world, start a business, whatever. And it's like you could be feeling very trapped. I, and um, so what's the solution here? Again, other than teamwork, let's dig into this and find out. Um, with the Eight of Pentacles, here you go. There, There's the restriction, the Emperor. The Emperor actually isn't too bad, though. Um, I do feel this could be some restriction that you're experiencing. Like I was just saying, Emperor is Aries, but it can be a card of control or controlling energy. So I do feel like you could be feeling controlled, but he has a lot of symbols on his card that actually represent movement. He has the Rams here, which represent movement. He is also wearing his armor under his cloak, and it represents the fact that he's always ready to go. He's ready at a moment's notice. He's ready to get up and get moving, right? He's ready to make progress. So I do feel like you could be feeling controlled by certain things. You, you The Eight of Pentacles, like we were saying in the first reading, it's almost like I was getting the words, you, you've taken this as far as you can go. Could be anything, like I said, a relationship, a business, whatever. And it's like you're wanting to take it to the next level. And, and I, f I see that um, Emperor as the barrier, maybe. Uh, with the Knight of Cups, you have the Nine of Swords here, trying to break free, Nine of Swords, uh, going to bed, being in a nightmare, waking up, being stuck in a nightmare. Nine of Swords does say get out of your head. Um, Nine of Swords is meant to be something that is temporary as well. It represents just a temporary situation. This is not something that is going to uh, last very long. Uh, with the Seven of Wands, you have the Hermit. So the Hermit is like a dark night of the soul, going and doing some soul searching. His feet are frozen right here at the top of the mountain, but he could easily put that lantern down by his feet and he could set himself free. The lantern kind of represents your inner voice, your um, your inner wisdom, the, the things inside of you that light you up. And so I feel for some of you, uh, like look, focusing on the things that light you up, focusing on the things that make you excited, uh, focusing on your desires, your happiness, focusing on all that you have learned uh, is going to lead to a lot more progress with that hermit energy. Uh, at the end here with the um, the knot and the bell, you have the September card and you have the rat card. It says someone working against you or behind your back. Again, uh, I, I, these cards are a little bit overly negative, number one. Number two, I do think we are in a time where I would just be careful of anyone who says anything that seems too good to be true. Uh, pretty much every single sign has had a message about needing to be very careful. And again, I don't I, I don't think we should be paranoid. I don't think, I don't do drama tarot. I always make the joke that I don't do Kim Kardashian uh, tarot, right? Because, it, you know, tarot shouldn't control your life. Tarot shouldn't scare you. It shouldn't make you feel fearful or anything like that. It's meant to be loose advice at best. And it's meant to point out things to avoid, right? Um, and that shouldn't be scary. So what I would say here is something seems too good to be true. It probably is. If something seems like a rat, it probably is. And just avoid it. Uh, the se September card it's funny um all the it, this these decks have these uh timing cards in there and everybody's been getting cards like august september october so there could be like some sort of significant change around that time of the year uh, which would be nice 
Uh, with the Page of Cups, you have the Star. Everybody's had the Star, which is nice. Uh, definitely like a very nice healing energy, especially with that Queen of Cups. The Star is kind of like a card of hope as well. I feel that the Page of Cups, he's looking into this cup, and he might be imagining that fish that's in the cup. The, the cup and the fish might not exist. We, we don't really know. So, <laughs> uh, well, definitely the cup exists, but the fish doesn't. And that might be in his imagination. So I feel like for some of you, it's like you need to stay focused on your dreams, clearly. Um, the star represents your North Star, represents the thing that you focus on. It's kind of like your reason why you are doing something. And a lot of people have been getting this message as well. Um, probably if we're entering into a time of restriction, it's like that's the one thing we can hold on to is our reason why. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the Two of Cups. Yes, definitely love coming in for you for those of you that want it. Uh, I feel like it's a perfect match. Looks like domestic bliss to me. So I feel like for those of you want, that want love, um, this is very good. Could be, you have Aries. You always get Aries in your readings. Uh, could be Aries. Could, you have a lot of water here, Virgo and uh, Leo as well. So, you know, could be any one of those signs. Take it how it resonates. Um, but definitely could be love. And with the uh, Four Swords, you show up here as the Justice card. So I like to see that. It uh, definitely could be a rebalancing. You have uh, like three cards of balance here. Ace of Swords, Six of Pentacles, and the Justice card. Um, these are also cards of cause and effect. It just says move in the direction of what's working in your life. And that will set you free. So that's what I feel like you need to do here um, with this energy. I don't really feel too bad about the the restrictions that are being placed upon you with that Emperor card. Um, I feel like it's kind of forcing you to be resourceful. It kind of reminds me of like, you know, there's like a theory on YouTube, right? Um, there are some channels that like stick to shorter videos. They do like five minutes or less. And there's a theory that condensing it down into a shorter period of time forces you to be creative. It forces you to like find the best parts of something. So I don't know. Sometimes I think restriction can be a good thing, right? If it forces us to be creative, it might be uncomfortable uh, at the time, but eventually you push yourself to this point where you, you know, f become successful or you achieve something. Uh, I kind of feel the opposite for some of you. It's not necessarily a restriction. I'm kind of seeing this reading as more of, like I said in the first reading, pulling a rabbit out of the hat. It's like maybe you see a goal, the star, with the page of cups you see something you want and accomplish like you know i don't know how to verbalize this but it's almost like accomplishing it would be like pulling a rabbit out of out of a hat you might see something as i don't think you see it as impossible because again i th i feel like i'm seeing the rabbit being pulled out of the hat it's like i'm seeing it happen in front of me so it's like you see something happening in your life maybe you see someone else accomplishing a goal wish or dream that you have you see it's possible it's like the information is missing or it's just like it seems like a little bit out of reach, right? And uh, I feel like this reading is really encouraging you to uh, keep working towards something. So I would like maintain your vision on the goal and keep working towards it because I feel like you actually will surprise yourself um, with this energy. So I like this for you, Libra. I feel like there's a lot of success coming in for you. But thank you for being here, Libra. Really appreciate it. it looks like a good week to me. So uh, thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.